guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tina K, your beauty bestie. Hi, my beauty besties. I'm doing a first impressions on the new Smashbox Primerizer because it's a moisturizer and a primer in one. It's in this really cute little white bottle and I'm doing a first impression. So I am wearing the primer right now. If you want to know if this is going to be worth your money, if it's Tina K approves my first impression thoughts, then please keep watching. So I've already done my eye makeup because I like to do my eye makeup before doing any foundation and whatever. So I have the new Smashbox primer here and the reason I wanted to do a review because it could be tricky to review primers but I, this was so, this product was posted so many times on social media between, there was just a lot of press on this one product so I'm like, what are they trying to say? So it's a primerizer. <laughs> primer riser meaning that it's a primer and a moisturizer in one which is like that's pretty much amazing <laughs> so that's why I called it possibly the world's best primer now I don't know anything else so I'm gonna read you the details it says dish ditch your moisturizers this beauty breakthrough hydrates for 24 hours sets in seconds smooths and plumps with hyaluronic acid promising that sounds good locks on foundation and makes it last and has seven mm, 762 sextillion molecules of water per bottle I don't know what that means so hold on but this is available on sephora.com right now I don't know the price so I'll put the price right here because it doesn't say it on their press kit. And they sent it in the heaviest press box I've ever received. So let me just show you what that looks like. So it's like a Tiffany blue box. And it is so freaking heavy because they put these like supposed to look like water in this box thing. I can't get it out. Hold on. So it looks like the liquid is white and it looks very liquidy. Like I'm moving it around even. It looks like it's more... A thinner texture than foundation photo finish primerizer primer plus moisture in one there's one fluid ounce and the directions say to use apply one to two pumps to fingertips smooth over the face before foundation can be used with or in place of moisturizer so my face was moisturized maybe six hours ago so this is gonna be in place of moisturizer again because usually I would rewash my face and apply a moisturizer but I'm just gonna go straight in with the primer first I want to I feel like I should shake it you know but first I want to smell it it doesn't it smells like skincare but like less fragrance maybe a little bit of fragrance like a really fresh men's facial lotion but like less than that I'm not good at describing <laughs> the smells of things okay so I'm gonna put it into my fingertips and smooth it over my face what I'm curious about is if it will um, make my pores look worse or better because usually I need a hydrating primer in combination with a smoothing primer so I'm hoping this since it says that it plumps the skin that maybe it'll make my pores look better even though it doesn't claim to do that but I'm really just curious to see what it does to my skin like how it's gonna look once the foundation's on and it's very very liquidy so I'm really trying to press it into the skin and as I'm moving it it does kind of feel like tacky already you know like something the foundation could adhere to but it is super liquidy so I do suggest like really getting it into your skin and once you press it in, it feels like it's that perfect amount. And it doesn't feel any oily residue, like it's good. Okay. I feel like I can go in with foundation now. To be fair, I don't want to mix up my foundations. What I've been using every day for the past two months is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. So I'm not going to switch it up. We're going to keep it neutral and use the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. By the way, this foundation is bomb and all I do is just draw it all in my face <laughs> like crazy I'm using the viewfinder too like not even using a mirror yet okay 
what I'm looking for is to see how the skin looks once I blend out this foundation and I'm using the Tarte brush that is kind of like made for the clay stick foundation. Should I zoom you guys in? So I brought you up closer so you could witness the skin. It's making my foundation look more skin-like. So usually when I use a different primer, it doesn't look this pretty, but I didn't blend out around the pores yet, so let's see. Sorry, I'm like veering off to the side. <laughs> Usually my foundation will sit in my lines on my forehead, so I'm looking out for that also. What do you guys think? Start commenting down below because to be honest, I think it looks really pretty. And this is the area where I have very big pores and I'm not noticing them. I see them obviously, but it doesn't look like I need a smoothing primer. And my skin feels super lightweight. It almost made my foundation more lightweight while keeping the coverage. And I think it makes the foundation look very, very pretty. Like more skin-like and luminous. And my pores don't look that big. Okay, I gotta stop blending it out. I wanna continue doing my makeup to see how it works with all of my products because I still have to use a cream contour, some concealer, and I really am just hoping that it looks good because so far I really do like it. So I don't know how long you lasted in this video, but so far I really do like how it looks. I think you guys can see that it looks very pretty, but I wanna go in and finish my makeup and give you my overall opinion. I stopped for a minute just to check in and let you know that as I'm blending out my concealer and the contour my skin looks even better my pores don't look bad at all and i think the foundation with this primer looks really really gorgeous the only thing i'm concerned about is if i'm going to look a little too oily later but i'll come back and let you know for sure so i'm back and i finished my full face of makeup which means the rest of my eyes obviously contour bronzer highlighter and I use setting spray my favorite setting spray is the Tarte ready set radiant overall I think my foundation looks really beautiful um, I've used primers before that kind of don't mesh with my favorite foundations or it'll make the product break up a little bit more or it really won't adhere to the foundation at all some primers just kind of suck basically but it also has to go with your skin type especially if this is considered a primer plus moisturizer I think for my skin type which is normal to dry this looks really great underneath my foundation and I think I'll be using it every day also because the foundation really stuck to it so when you have a primer you really want that tackiness so that way no matter what your foundation will stay in place and look good it's not just about wearing it for hours because you really shouldn't be wearing makeup for 12 to 24 hours it's about how your skin looks while you're wearing your makeup whether it be an hour to six hours or your whole wedding day whatever the case may be i think this primer is a winner Obviously, I'll continue to use it and keep you updated on Snapchat and Instagram stories, but so far, based off of first impressions, I think my foundation looks bomb. So I do suggest it. Um, let me know what you think. If you've already tried it, comment down below. But I really like this so far, and I'm excited to keep using it. Just follow me on Snapchat if you want further updates. That's where I do all my quick reviews and updates and what's good and what's not so good. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked my quick first impressions review of the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Let me know what you think in the <laughs> I can't talk sometimes, okay? Let me know what you think in the comments down below and also give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe before you leave and I hope I see you next time.